Hey everybody, Grandpa Newby here. I haven't been given the Modern Warfare 2 weapons very much love in my interstellar quests and beyond for Modern Warfare 3, so I thought I'd revisit some of the weapons that I thought were really powerful back in the MW2 days. The 150 health in Modern Warfare 3 makes a difference, but the Phoenix was my go-to SMG. So I decided to see how it does, played a couple of games of free-for-all, here are the configurations, and here's how I did. Cheers. So we're going to rust. Just like Grandpa, a bit rusty here. So you can see that the Fennec, it absolutely throws them out. Throws out the bullets, not a lot of recoil. That's surprising. I seem to remember more recoil, but my memory's probably about as long as... Uh, Whatever, but uh, good maneuverability. You can build angles. You can get behind people. You can shoot them beak to beak. And whoa, 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 whoa. I got burnt, Grandpa Newbie. But he also exploded the... M and you'll see that the Fennec has a 10% faster fire rate. The bullet velocity isn't great for either one, although the Rival 9 is slightly faster and the damage is slightly higher. But, and that's a big but, the Rival 9 is good for 10 meters, the Fennec 12 plus meters. And when you look at the faster fire rate, the time to kill, if you can get the mythical headshots, is 268 milliseconds. Every other time to kill for upper torso, lower torso, and legs it's faster than the Rival 9. So you might think, well, what about movement speed? It's roughly the same, but when you look at kick, and this surprised me, the Fennec is 25% better in controlling gun kick, 30% better at recoil, and 10% better at flinch resistance. So those are eye-opening statistics. Back to free-for-all. So let's see if we can gack some people. There's Princess Yellow Veil, or Purple Veil. Seems the people were running around the outside this time. Sometimes they run around the inside, sometimes the outside, sometimes they climb to the top of the scaffolding. So for the muzzle, I used the Spiral V 3.5 flash hider. You can see what it does to gun kick and recoil hurts ADS just a little bit not much whoa I got burned again he fried me barbecued newbie you see that the gun doesn't jump around much for the stock I took care of a little more recoil and the hip fire spread and tax stance spread, although I'm not going to do any tax stance, and I don't plan on a lot of hip fire, but it's pretty accurate without any help. There's Princess Purple Veil. Whoa, Princess Purple Veil just ran past me again. So 45 rounds you got to, and free for all, you need the fire power, especially at long distance. You need to hose some bullets at people. So it doesn't hurt movement speed mobility or handling that much okay I got gacked and you'll see I use over pressure so that guy was aiming at me obviously with a sniper rifle or a marksman rifle and I was pumping over pressured into him and that you can see over pressure 1.4 newtons of flinch So I'm in second place at the moment. Like I said, the enemies were all around the outside. They were on the rims. And for the underbarrel, I decided to jazz up the speeds and I don't worry about the hip fire tactical. So significant mobility with the DR6 hand stop. Oh, there's somebody climbing. You can see it didn't jump. 
I just aimed, pulled the trigger, and it doesn't jump that much. The recoil is easily manageable. I don't know what that guy's looking at, but it looked like he had a cat. A cat. It was meowing. He was going to snipe somebody. Well, where are these people? Just a bullet hose and, in my opinion, pinpoint accurate. And you can build it that way. There's a guy with a scope again. We got a mosquito. See if it'll go out and do some work. Bite somebody's arm. Getting towards the end and it's close. Guys moving around. I think that was my own, that was my own uh, mosquito. So the mosquito did do work. It took care of me. There's the flashlight guy. I need two more kills before the princess purple veil gets him. And I gack princess Pur purple gale. And then this guy. So we win. And it's a Snickers win because we got to 30 points. So let's try it one more time. Stash house. That's where I put my stash. Perfect place for a bullet hose like a fennec. You can see that there's not a lot of jumping around, but I do eat a bullet. Put out the proximity mine. Keep building angles. Guys in the window. How much is that doggy in the window? Guys, a obligatory knifer and he's the king so we just gacked Elvis there he is again knife doesn't work good at distance there comes another knifer and he gacks me you can see that the you move fast you can move fast with the Fennec and it puts out rounds at 1100 rounds per minute something like over 18 rounds a second oh that guy had gacked me once before. He was laying in the van. Taking a nap, I guess. You're not supposed to leave your children in the vehicle, though, so... Rather than him heat to death, I went ahead and gacked him with a bullet. Look, whoa, look at that movement. <laughs> Woo! Hard to keep up with those boys. So once I get up by two, I'm hungry get gacked but I'm putting out the skeeter the skeeter needs to light on somebody other than me the guys uh, messing up the bed there jumping on the mattress he's not supposed to do that oh I missed the doorway that's a good thing so I got some revenge you can see that the bed is unmade now since the guy was standing in it He's going to knife me. And he gacked me. So we're up by four. Kind of cruising. Fennec is performing just excellently. That poor boy tried to kill me with a throwing knife. And his buddy behind him, he, behind him got me. Oh. That should be the final gack. And it is. So, overall, you need to try the Fennec. It is amazing. It is amazing. To me, it's better than it was in Modern Warfare 2. Thanks for going with me here. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.